Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this video in which I'm going to explain to you how to debug your Lightning Web Components Jest tests. My name is Alba Rivas, I am a developer advocate at Salesforce and here you have my contact details in case that you want to ask me anything later. This is the first video of a series in which I'm going to explain to you three different approaches in which you can debug your Lightning Web Components test. And today we're going to talk about how to debug them using the Salesforce extensions. So first of all, let's talk about the two steps that are involved in any debugging flow. First, when you want to debug your application, you will need to launch your application in debug mode. In our case, we will be launching a node process that runs our JEST test in debug mode. The second step will be to attach an inspector. This inspector can be any of the inspectors that are out there, but for this series of quick takes, we are going to uh, try out two of them. We are going to use Visual Studio Code Inspector and Chrome Inspector. Okay, so here we are in Visual Studio Code. This is a simple Lightning Web component that I have copied from LWC recipes. The component has two sections that are controlled by a property R details visible, a property that we have defined on the JavaScript file. With this property, we are going to control the visibility of the sections. And we also have a lining input of type checkbox, which it's going to allow us changing the value of that property using this handler. This is the test file for the component. It's a test file that I have copied from a WC recipes too. But imagine for a moment that you are a developer who wants to write these tests from scratch. It's going to be super helpful for you to be able to use a debugger. And that's what we are going to do. The Salesforce extension pack is extension for Visual Studio Code that you can install. It is really a set of extensions that are going to help you being a much more productive Salesforce developer. In regards to testing, do you see these buttons here, run test, debug test? Those buttons are there because of the extension. So now let's try them out. I'm going to skip the run test button because I want to focus on the debug part. And for debugging, the first thing that you need to do is to add breakpoints. We are going to debug this test. This is a test that uh, checks that uh, the details, these panels here, are shown when we click the checkbox. And for that, what we do is that we emulate that the uh, lining input is firing a change event. So maybe it's interesting for me to add a breakpoint here to make sure that we are firing the event that we want to fire. And maybe I can add another breakpoint here to make sure that the handler is being fired, for instance, Okay, so once we have added some breakpoints, we can click on the back. So one important thing here, remember at the beginning of the quick take, I explained to you that uh, for debugging, you need to uh, launch your application in debug mode and then attach a debugger. The two things are happening here, thanks to the Salesforce extension pack. It won't be the same when uh, we follow the two other different approaches that I will explain in other quick takes. So now, uh, first, if we inspect the terminal, we can see that effectively our application is running in debug mode. Indeed, we can see the command that we are using behind the scenes to run our JS tests in debug mode, right? We are using node with this flag here. That means that we are going to debug or inspect the application and we are running all the tests in parallel. But in this case, we are just running one test. And that button is the one that did all this for us. So now we can see here that the debugger has stopped 
in our first breakpoint. Now I have several options. I can go to the debug tab and take a look at the variables panel, add watch expressions, or take a look at the call stack. Or something which is also very handy is to go to the debug console, because here in the debug console, you can write statements as if uh, they were written exactly in this point of the, of the execution flow. So I'm going to continue flow execution. The test is about to dispatch my event. And look what happens. Thanks to the debugger, now I know that my handler is reacting to the event and is entering into the body of this method. So this is great because I know that the test is doing what I expect it to do. And I'm going to finish the execution. As I haven't received any error message, I know that the execution uh, finished successfully. But again, I can open the terminal and take a look at uh, the information that it gives me about the test execution. Now let's open a test file and pay attention at, at the extra buttons that appear here on the top right corner. Those buttons are there also because of the Salesforce extensions. These buttons are going to uh, help me uh, running all the tests for my test file, debugging all the tests for my test file, and uh, starting the watch mode. So that can be very handy too. Finally, I want to leave some links here. The first link is a trailhead module that you can tackle that explains very well how to write Lightning Web Components test with Jest. The second link is the documentation about Salesforce extensions. And there you are going to find all the information about how to run and debug those tests using uh, those uh, fancy icons that we used before. And finally, I leave you the GitHub repo for the SFDX LWC Jest library, which is the one that you use for just testing in Lightning Web Components. I also want to remind you the different ways in which you can connect with us. You can um, take a look at our webpage, developer.salesforce.com, where we publish all our blog posts and the developer podcast. You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And finally, of course, you can follow us on YouTube. If you like the video, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell to receive notifications. Thank you so much. And remember to watch the other two videos of this series. Leave me a comment telling me what you liked, what you didn't like, which approach do you prefer, right? And I hope to see you in the next videos too. Bye bye. Happy coding.